And now, Sports Line with Jeff Landry. It was Idaho State's first win at home in the Big Sky Conference over a team not named Northern Colorado since 2009. And one of the biggest plays in the Bengals' 44-24 victory over Sacramento State Saturday came way of the gimmick in the second quarter. Quarterback Justin Arias gave the ball to wide receiver Madison Mangum. Mangum pulled up and fired a strike to K.W. Williams for the touchdown. It gave the Bengals a 16-7 lead, but it might not have been drawn up the way it played out. So we had repped that play about five times um, the previous week before the game, and uh, every single time either Madison ran it or he threw it to Brock. And so I, we had never repped Madison actually throwing me the ball. Being wide open, those are sometimes the hardest catches to make. Now Idaho State pulled away from Sacramento State in the second half with three touchdowns, and the Bengals gave up just one to the Hornets, Idaho State. Known for airing it out on offense and trying to move quickly, fans might have questioned why ISU just didn't kill the clock. But with a few boxing national championships in the school's history, head coach Mike Kramer went to the ring for the analogy. If you're in a boxing match, you don't want to slow down. At the end, when they're going down, you want to flurry them out and then knock them out. And we, were, we had them on the ropes, and I don't want to fall back into the trap of being a traditional coach and saying, okay, let's huddle and let's walk the ball down the field. Uh-uh. Go faster. We'll have much more on the Bengals coming up on Sportsline at 6 o'clock on our sister station, Local News 8. That's it for sports. We'll be right